prove that if f is injective and a and b are subsets of x, that we have the following equality of, of sets here. So if you don't know what this notation means, uh, for a subset, say, k of capital X, we can look at f of k. This is equal to the set of all of the y's in capital Y such that y is equal to f of little k for little k in capital K. So it's the set of all of the images of k under f. So if, if this is x and this is y and this is k, then f takes k to another set which we'll call f of k. So it's all of the elements that get mapped to y that come from capital K. Anyways, let's go ahead and, and prove this. So proof. To prove this equality, we'll take an element uh, in this set here and then show it's in this set and vice versa. So we'll show that these two sets are subsets of each other. So take any y in f of a intersection b. So what does that mean? Well this means there exists an element which we'll call x in the intersection a intersection b such that y is equal to f of x. And what does it mean for x to be in the intersection? Well, since x is in the intersection of A with B, this means that x is in A, and it means that x is in B. So that means that y, which is equal to f of x, is in f of A. And y, which is equal to f of x, is in f of b. So y is in f of a and y is in f of b, so y is in the intersection of f of a with f of b. So y is in the intersection of f of a with f of b. So we started with y in this set, and we showed it was in this set. So that shows that this set is a subset of this set. So this shows, pretty easy so far, so this shows that f of a intersection b is a subset of f of a intersection f of b. So one down, one to go. We didn't use the fact uh, that it was injective. And by the way, I probably should have written down, you know, suppose this function is an injection and suppose that these are subsets of x. Uh, being a little sloppy, I guess. Let's show the other, the other direction. So take, take any y and this set here, f of a intersect f of b. So what does it mean for y to be in the intersection? Well, it means that y is in f of a. And it means that y is in f of b. Now let's carefully write down what it means for y to be in each of these sets. So since, since y is in f of a, that means there exists an element which we'll call, say, little a in capital A such that y is equal to f of A. Likewise, y is in f of B, so since y is in f of B, we can find an element which we'll call little b in capital B such that y is equal to f of little b. So y is equal to f of a, and y is equal to f of b. So f of a is equal to f of b. But f is injective. So since f is injective, 
is injective, little a is equal to little b. And so we know that little a is in capital A, and little a is also equal to b, so little a is also in capital B. So a is in A intersect B. So Y, which is equal to F of A, is in F of A intersection B. So we started with Y in this set, and we showed it's in this set. So this shows that F of A intersect F of B is a subset of f of a intersect b. So we showed the inclusion both ways, uh, so we're done. So therefore, f of a intersect b is equal to f of a intersect f of b. Not a hard proof uh, at all, it's just carefully using the definitions. I hope this helps.